Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Pitch Please, the podcast where people who pitch ideas, pitch people who play games, <laughs> pitch ideas. <laughs> people, people who, who make them. play games get the plague. Is what I said that a lot of times, and play. I feel like I'm always on the cusp of getting it wrong every time. No, that time you this did get the time it wrong. That it finally happened. Yeah, yeah. it so all it crumbled. It was going well <laughs> until your fucked intro. Um, it was going I'm well doing for well. three seconds. Yeah, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Uh, we're also Boind Jai. Uh, Chris and nice. games. Nice. Callback already. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> games. Yeah. I mean, I wanted to mess the intro up as well. Set a standard. Right. You know, Alex, set a standard. <laughs> so this is how the episode is to go on. Guy, you are both now officially published game devs, right? I thought you weren't going to say published and just go, you're both officially. I was like, I've been that for quite some time. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm a publisher uh, for a while, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. We're, we're now, I'm, now I'm, released. I'm Chris Yules and God's Mistake. No, wait, oh I God. fucked that up. I fucked that up. I actually Fuck genuinely it, fucked that up. I was meant to say I'm Brunch Club developer and God's mistake, Chris Yules. Oh, <laughs> oh no. And, uh, I fucked that up. Well, James, I, you need to fuck it up. Oh, I'm James, and I am uh, the uh, one or, um, of uh, the two <laughs> developers who have now just released Drink More Glurp. Yeah, Woo-hoo! it's out. Yay. It's out. It's a game that exists that you can it's buy actually and play. out there. If and you want to play it's it, it's on Steam and Switch. Um, it's on Steam and, and Switch. Yeah, if you get it on Steam, give us a nice review if you like it. Yeah. Woo. Okay, I won't, yeah, I won't chill, chill anymore. I'll, I'll also play. take That's some good. of those nice reviews. Those would be good. <laughs> <laughs> what was that name again? Think... Drink More Glurp. Uh, yeah. it's, uh, more yeah. Drink Glurp. Drink More <laughs> Uh, glurp more. Drink. A glurp yes, for you, sir? <laughs> <laughs> glurp, glurp, glurp. Glurp it up. I think actually like publishing game or being part of like publishing games has made me uh, not to get too, uh, n- not to get too shilly, but like made me realize how much, that how, how little I ever, like I don't think I've ever actually left, I should probably shouldn't be saying this, I don't think I've ever actually left a Steam review. Boo. Like I feel like I read them a lot. Like I, I, I base my, my opinions on whether I buy a game on Steam reviews a lot. And I think maybe I've left like I don't know maybe one or something, but I'm gonna but, I, but I'm gonna start doing it more now. Hmm. I I can't leave reviews on these games. I can't leave reviews on our games because why not? Uh, it doesn't let me. They don't count. Well, oh, it literally, it literally well. Steam doesn't let me. It doesn't count. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So we need we need you guys to do it for us. And also, yeah, when but, a, when a product is received for free, it doesn't count towards the overall average. Like the overall, generally hmm. you see positive and overwhelmingly positive. If you get a, the product for free, it doesn't count towards it. You have to be a, yeah. a, a paying customer. Well, there you go. Mm. If you but bought also, the yeah, game feel... and you enjoyed it, then review it. If you didn't enjoy it, don't re- don't review it. Don't review it. <laughs> just, don't, just, don't, just, just pretend you didn't. Just, just refund it. If you bought it and you didn't like it, just refund it. Just refund I don't it. Okay. That's, that's, the, that's, that's the, the developer of the game the rule asking of you reviews. to refund it. <laughs> it's the rule of reviews. Um, if you have nothing nice to say, don't say anything at all. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's, that's normally how it goes. So this week, right, Tom, you've got a, you've got a couple of ideas you want to get through, I've got right? some, yeah, but, I've, got, I've got the dregs of society. If the dregs of society okay. were bad ideas, uh, I wouldn't ever pitch unless they were in a really shit bundle. But we might... Last time we had a little bundle, we actually ended up with some really cool games. So maybe you'll we see did, some gold, right? gold in this dirt. And that's going to be something to look forward to, <laughs> Tom's yeah. shit ideas. Uh, because first of all, we're going to do a little, just a quick chat about Tiny Teams Festival because it would have literally just ended when this, pretty much when this podcast goes out, right. the event will have ended. But the page uh, is still it's available. Like 5pm on the Sunday. The page will still be up. So the sales won't be there anymore, but all of the games that are part of the festival, including ours... Um, will be on the page. And you can go there, as far as I know, indefinitely until I guess someone in Valve looks Remembers. at the page and is like, what, is this still up? And then deletes it. <laughs> yeah, um, until Gabe Newell dies. <laughs> yeah, that's what... Oh, he's God. got like... <laughs> They have to press a button at Valve. They're like, it's happened. Press the button. <laughs> Shut it down. It wipes, it's like it when the Queen dies, sleep. the BBC don't play comedies for like two weeks or something like that. And yeah. it's like they have, a, they have protocols. Valve do too. I they, think really they're not allowed they, they to check release. the chimney. They check the chimney for the color of smoke. Going back to Tiny Teams, for the, the submissions we had we had way more than I thought we were going to have. We had hundreds of submissions, and not only were they all fantastic, but like they were people gave like little descriptions about their teams. I, like, I got to I got to read like these little kind of personal bios of everyone who was involved in making the games, of which there were like only a couple of people. 
Yeah. Tom, what are you laughing at? Do you think I might be like... <laughs> no, no, sorry. Uh, just as a context... I'm getting too emotional. We, we, for some reason, record this podcast with webcams, uh, and Chris has a white splodge on his shirt. His he just toothpaste. pointed at it, and his mouth... His toothpaste. Come. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This Sorry, is a, a games off, podcast. <laughs> well, yeah, welcome to the games podcast, um, recorded with webcams for some reason. <laughs> okay, tiny teams, hundreds of submissions. We 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 had to whittle it down because we didn't want people to get drowned out. No, and um, we hopefully whittled it down not to the best ones, but to, like necessarily, but just like a nice a nice mix of all the kinds of games from all the kinds of developers that submitted to us. There's a lot of and different categories and all of them should be very, very good games or something that you should be interested in because they're extremely yeah. high quality games made by just teams of, what, two or three people? What's the maximum? Two or three people. For a tiny yeah. well, team? The, ma the maximum is like we said, we asked people to not submit if their core team was larger than three. Right, okay. That's, that was the, the rule of thumb, yeah. Um, and most of, like, some of them are just kind of like, some of them are like, holy shit, this really, was it made by three people? Because it looks like nuts. But then some of them are like, okay, this could only have been made by one person or two people because yeah. it has a very singular focus to it. Mm. Um, yeah, but would you have said, uh, would you say that about Stardew Valley? Because that, that, you know, Eric Barone, it took him a long time. What? But no, no, yeah, I mean that that that, like, that could have been made by multiple people, but like the one for so the one I was thinking of specifically is there's one called I don't know how to pronounce it stickier S T I K I R, okay, and that is the game is uh it's like a little pixel game, it's two D, but it's about the process of this guy making the game. So hmm. you're walking, it starts off as like a little platform you're walking through, and then he's like, oh maybe do I want this to be, maybe I want this to be a racing game actually, and then it turns into like a little racing game. And it's like that, like as as you're as you're playing through the game, the the genre changes based on what he's thinking, like the game the game should be while he's trying to figure out what the game is. Um, and that's like I won't give too much more away than that, but it's like um, I feel like that is something that that is is very much like only existed because of this one person wanted to make a game and had a really hmm. like clear focus of what he wanted to do with it. Yeah, Tom, you played you played a couple of them, right? Uh, yeah, I played uh, a, a few. Um, let me just get the list. I played. I played Cyberhook, which is in the platformers category. I watched. Um, yeah. yeah, I heard you get excited about making make excited, excited noises about that. when you were I, playing. I so. played that for like an hour uh, when I was meant to be playing quite a few different games. I played that one for like an hour long. It's very cool. What's it's like, Cyberhook? Um, it's like it's. I mean, it's got the very outrun sort of electronic sort of style to it. That synth 80s wave. sort of synth wave style. Yeah. Um, where you literally just like a jump. It's a very speed runny kind of uh, get to the end of the level as quick as you can. But you have a grappling yeah, hook yeah. you can use to uh, sort of hook your way, kind of Spider-Man, hook your way through the levels. And you can wall run and you can shoot a little finger pistol. Um, and it's one of those games where you could play the same level over and over and over again to try and get the fastest time. And it's it's kind of, it reminds me a lot of... Um, like Sonic Adventure. Well, it reminds me more of Cluster Truck, you know, where you can, okay. I imagine you can watch someone play it and they've done some really weird strategy. Like they've jumped from this wall and then hooked onto this thing like miles away and you've got no idea how they did it, but it's all just such quick, tight reactions and super tight controls. It's really, really fun, that one. And the music, oh yeah, oh yeah. The other one I would say was um, Unto the End was one that I probably played the most of, which I had actually been following for a while and was excited to see that they had submitted for the festival. That is made by um, that is made by just a husband and wife team uh, in like California, I think. And basically, it's um, it's this two D uh, platformer where you play as I don't know a Viking or something. Oh yeah, um, I remember seeing that uh, one. Yeah, but it's it like it looks it's very kind of like m like minimalistic style. Like it look it's very kind of like muted colors. Um, really, really beautiful art style. Um, and it's insanely hard. I don't know if it's just me, but it feels like I know. I know, like the whole Souls-like thing is really thrown around a lot, but it, like the the combat system is is very very involved, especially for for like a, a, a 2D platformer like fighting game. Um, there's like there's like faking when you uh, like with your sword for, from different directions. There's like uh, there's lots of blocking. You have to dodge a lot. Um, there's like each each battle that you play. You're 100% going to die to begin with every encounter, oh, and nice. you have to 
you have to learn <laughs> like but the good thing is like it'll, it'll respawn you it'll put you like you know at the beginning of the account just like the hallway you know down from where the enemy was yeah you run back in and then you have to go like you just have to learn how that enemy is going to fight you and what moves it's going to do and how you're going to counter that and so each battle that you play is feels like a completely crafted encounter and like it so it, it looks great and it it fucking plays great as well but it it's infuriating, uh, especially for someone like me who doesn't play those kinds of games very much because I was just shouting a lot at the screen <laughs> when but, I was dying over and over and over. But when you but pass it... it feels it, so fucking good. Yeah, it feels it so good. It looks amazing. It's like uh, it really Dark does. Souls, or I yeah. guess Salt and Sanctuary was a side-scrolling Dark Souls game as well. Um, yeah. There's a couple there's, others I wanted to... Sorry, yeah, there's, one, there's one. Um, there's actually three on here that I wanted to give a shout-out to. I mean, I'm playing Knights and Bikes at the moment with my partner, Emily. Yeah. And, it's 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 a beautiful game and the story is amazing and it's a perfect like couples game you know we're just sat on the yeah. couch together yeah, playing yeah. together you know you can play single player but it's really made for co-op so you know it's made for two two players and like just getting on your bike you know riding around it's great um it's meant that, to be like cornwall right like somewhere in yeah is that the it's, kind of it, that is it's definitely cornwall? inspired inspired yeah and um the just it's it feels very british in in the way that the characters are and the way that they're actually painted as well it's like very um yeah yeah, yeah the librarian is just amazing and the, <laughs> and and the soundtrack is great too it's got this really well, like the soundtrack is is by um I, can't, I think it's daniel pemberton who who's like a like he he's a a, a composer a film composer mm. so i guess they're friends with him or something and they've got him on board somehow uh-huh. The the, the, like, the, like the, feels... the main track is just it, it, it's very like buzzcocks, you know. It's like it, I want to wear the screaming mind. kids. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, oh, <laughs> I'm hyped. I want to go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's so good. Um, but there, there was, uh, there was uh, another couple of games on here. Uh, so um, Warborn, give a shout out to Josh at Rare Drop Games. He he's a Bristol based Bristol, uh, developer, yeah. and he was at yeah, he was yeah. at he was with us at um, Yogcon. He had a little booth as well, mm-hmm. um, and uh, I thought I recognised the, it. Played good his, lads. Uh, play his game. It's very yeah. Very I want to. I want to play that one. Yeah. It looks and the main mix. Yeah, it <laughs> Tom, looks Tom, the art Tom style Tom is incredible. Yeah. It looks like it wasn't made that. in Bristol. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Yeah. No. <laughs> the, and uh, and the last one that uh, I, I wanted to give a shout out to was um, uh, <laughs> Lord Winklebottom investigates. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. By Cave. Yeah, I played a bit. We we yeah we we were on the a booth at Insomnia. Uh, 64 together so when we were like first putting glurp out there into the world and seeing what people thought um uh, charlotte had a demo there and and they're, they're lovely guys and the uh the demo was great the writing's great the style is great it's proper like sherlock holmes the writing is hilarious games, but with but with like a giraffe and like animal yeah characters. it's a point and click adventure but the detective is a giraffe yeah it's yeah. great <laughs> so i i I, um, I love that game and i can't wait for that to come out um i know i know we're going long into this list but there's just two more no, i wanted to it. shout out as well uh Please. war pips i played a lot of that so that's i a, watched you um, play a lot of that yeah i watched kind you play of that. kind of tower i, I there's a, it's a style of game. Like, I don't really know what to call it. It's kind of tower defense. You kind of spawn units in and they move across the battlefield and slowly destroy the other team's units as they get across the battlefield. And they might push against yeah. yours or you might push further down the battlefield. But it's just done in a really, really, really nice way. And the art style is great. And there's like cover systems where units can hide behind crates that slowly get torn apart. Um, there's units that can call in airstrikes and eventually you can get tanks and like turrets and stuff like that. It's really, really, really fun. Um, it's like a super quick uh, game that has a load of like upgrade uh, potential Man, as well. Like further using into the, the game. is it the technician <clears throat> that, that brings down the um, calls down the explosion? Yeah, the technician that is, is so powerful. That it, is it like so. You have no agency. So good. Once you spawn them, they just move forward or move behind cover or yeah. stick to other units. And like the uh, technician buffs all the units around him. Um, and he might go towards all the other guys, which would be perfect. Sometimes he doesn't, but then you call in an airstrike. And if you upgrade him, he calls in like three airstrikes and just destroys the enemy army in one hit. And it's awesome. <laughs> the airstrike is so good. Or if it's, you just like suddenly, yeah, you see it, it explodes like 10 guys and a vehicle. Yeah, it's one of those um, things like oh. commanding. It's a weird link, but command and conquer and the third stage of Spore, where you just have <laughs> hundreds and That's hundreds, hundreds game, of tanks. 
and <laughs> they all are just firing projectiles at this one thing and you just watch the health just zip down immediately it's so satisfying and warpip does that <laughs> very very well um and then finally uh Pornbarian is a That's game I, I think yeah. we could have pitched on Pitch Please. I think Pornbarian <laughs> is like, I could have come up with that one. It's one of those things where it's like, ah, fuck it. It's so simple. <laughs> you wish you'd come up with it. It's like such a simple idea. Why didn't I come up with that? It's basically a, a, a deck builder, which I mean, immediately, you know, that's going to get me going. Um, that's Tommy. It's like yeah. very small levels, very tight, compact levels, but it's it's done in a, in a, a set of chess. So... You have like three cards in your hand. One is like the bishop, so you can move diagonally. One is the pawn, so you can move forward but attack diagonally. One is like the the knight, so you can move in an L shape. Um, and it's it's so cool. It's just you know figuring out how to avoid the enemies by or, or killing the, all the enemies on the board by playing chess moves. And it's so cool. And it <laughs> looks really fun. It looks like it's really one of cool, the- that style. Yeah, like it. It feels like 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 it's one of those games that it kind of feels like. Yeah, why didn't this? Why haven't I played this before? Why hasn't this been made? Yeah, like it's there is a demo this would be, on this Steam. Would be fun. There is a demo. Yeah, on Steam. there is a demo. <clears throat> um, yeah, I will say that not all these, not all the games that were like, in sure. Tiny Teams are out. Um, yeah, so it's what I said about half of drop them. them uh, drop them on wish list if you like it. And also, like, so yeah. some people even release their games because of Tiny Teams, like Train, 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 moved their release. Yeah, they they pushed it uh, yeah, to oh, coincide wow. with it. Um, but mm-hmm. yeah, I I really liked Pornbarian. It, uh, every time I was playing certain moves, there's that uh, the guy who did the the impossible Sudoku. Um, every time oh, I would be like, I'm cryptid. going to take him by knight's move. <laughs> yeah, and I was just I was having cracking the cryptic is mine and Chris's yeah. favorite channel. It's just some dude who just is such this a nice is guy magic. playing a Sudoku and just solving these ridiculous Sudokus, and I just love him. I love him so much. He's so um, passionate. Sorry, that was a bit of a. <laughs> There's tons of categories. There's obviously more in each category, but there's there's a decent selection of some of the, the ones that we played and we really enjoyed. Uh, there's yeah. obviously more than that. But if any of those yeah. strike your fancy, then go check out all the other ones. There's there's also big hits like RimWorld and Stardew Valley in the collection. Well, yeah, that's... I mean, like, for the first time, pretty much... Well, no, for the second time ever, Rim, RimWorld was on sale f- for us, which was incredible. Like, And, and yeah. that's the thing. Like, so, so many of these games, like... Yes, Your Grace. Well, like uh, a bunch of No More Robots games. Uh, Hitman Space Outlaw, Yes, Your Grace. Um, Lucas Pope did put his games on sale for us. Stardew Valley, RimWorld. And I think the reason they were so interested to get involved is because, like, because the festival is about supporting and giving a platform to to people, like, who, to, to tiny teams, to, to people like them who had just come from basically a single development, single person development team or a couple of people. Um, and, you know, they have obviously worked really hard and been very lucky and been very successful. But there are so many teams out there who who haven't been yet, um, who who just need that extra visibility. Because when you when you're like a one person team, the, the fucking hardest thing is to just get your game seen and played by people, mm. no matter how good it is. Yeah. Uh, and so that's kind of what this is about. <clears throat> and yeah. so yeah, fuck, please check out these games because they're, they're they're fucking great. Very um, talented developers making some very very cool games. And I'm also yeah. in there. Uh, um, and yeah, and also yeah, and, and we've got the Yogs collection in there as well. I'd like to clarify, I'm not, I don't include myself in the talented playing to making talent good games. <laughs> Shut up, Chris. Yeah, Stop no, it. me neither. Stop it. Buy Branch Club and buy Drink More Collette, please. And please. Landlords and Cave Blazers. Please. Well, well Cave no, Blazers. He's, well, well, He's had enough. He's had enough. Will's fine. It. Will's fine. He doesn't need it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Tom, so what's going on this week? Oh, uh, yeah, man. So um, since we've spent so much time talking about tiny teams i didn't want to you know waste this on a real gold a real primo idea sure yeah so instead <laughs> i i have a list of um things i i if i come up with an idea i put it on this list and you know god okay. twitter is written here slay the spire platformer that came uh, became john quick um however not all of these are nearly <laughs> as i want to say embellished or that i put too yeah. much thought into so I'm, i want to go through just the 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 dud list and see <laughs> maybe maybe you can come up with some ideas to embellish and make them into some cool game maybe i'll just cross them off the list or just delete them entirely and pretend they were never there um okay so maybe that one do you want to do you want to go through Strap the in. shitters the shitters the shit the shitters tom shitters that's the name of this episode <laughs> tom's yeah welcome no, to it's, it's, greasy the, shit it's the shithole i already said tom's it's the shithole shit the shithole yeah um so my tom's gaping shithole 
I can't uh, put that on a thumbnail. <laughs> so, so actually, I'll open this up with one that Chris. This is one you told me uh, in the kitchen at work uh, many <laughs> many months ago. Now, uh -oh. I feel like you can embellish this one because all I've got written here is uh, postcode war, but you're a house. Yeah, because we, we were talking about um, like where we were from, like back home, and he was like, "Did yeah, you yeah. ever have like people like gangs <clears throat> who are postcode related?" So I'm from oh, yeah. Chelmsford, and we had like the CM2. They would tag CM2 everywhere. Oh my yeah. god! And I was like, it's such a weird concept. And it, we were saying, like, do you think they ever like meet up and like they have to like anchor man fight style, just like hash it out? And I was like, well, maybe it's not to do with it. Maybe maybe it's the actual postcodes. And then we came up with this <laughs> okay. idea where it's a it's a brawler, but you you represent your, your houses. So you play a and house. you can get like you, you can house. get extensions. You can get like you know, maybe you get like a, a conservative extension gives yeah. you a buff to okay. something. Do you, you know, do you so also how does get, this... um, the postcode lottery giving someone like a a, a, a buff one yeah. <laughs> one round? It's like you won nice. today, the draw so, is CM two. So the clan tag, well, the, sorry, the postcode is essentially a clan tag, right? Where yeah. you're just BS one, IP three, uh, things like that, um, <laughs> and that that represents your team. And then you fight in a it, let's call it a battle royale because I mean there's a lot of houses in each postcode. Um, are, the yeah. houses, are the houses Thousands. sentient, or are there are there yes. people inside driving them like mechs? In my head, do you know like you see those uh, like gifs or videos where people draw stick arms on like birds, right? You <laughs> oh, know what I'm yeah, about? Like, yeah, yeah. You yeah, see an ostrich yeah. running and he's okay. got his arms waving about. It's like that. That's yeah. that's pretty much how like the dicey dungeons, right? Little character, but instead of a okay. dice, a house. I don't know if anyone else so thinks differently. So what do you envision being an attack? A house attack. How does the that door work? Open. Honestly, I have no idea. Me and Tom <laughs> literally door. just were just pissing door. ourselves laughing yeah. and shouting ideas at each other whilst our tea was brewing and then we went back to work. Like <laughs> it, was, yeah. it was over bottles. as quick as it started. There was like a five um, second like silence and we both had that mutual agreement of like, well, we're done here. We're done <laughs> <And then> here. <laughs> <laughs> Let's Game in the bag. Again. Unless yeah. they are mechs. <laughs> You know, it's like Pacific or I like, Rim. Maybe it's like Toy Story and the houses come to life at night and everyone's asleep and in no bed. One no one notices. <laughs> Somehow. Right. You have to get back into your spots before dawn before anyone wakes up. <laughs> reconnect all the plumbing before everyone's like, wow. Well, it could, it could be like, it, it could be just like Transformers, right? The Transformers come from a, a planet. Maybe it's a different planet where every, like the, the being, the species just are just houses. Like for some reason <laughs> on Cybertron, they're trucks. I'm just imagining yeah. like very this human massive, trucks, uh, constantly online map like uh, Planet Side too, where right, yeah. it's thousands okay. and thousands of players on this one. Oh my map, god! Tom. And they're slowly taking over territory and slowly losing territory. And like instead of, uh, do you know how they have like the three, uh, what, what, what are they call factions? In, factions. You have yeah. estates, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> the Chelmsworth <laughs> estate. You have you, you join an estate yeah, as your as okay. your house. And then that's that's what you do is you try and you're <laughs> you're still like in your individual postcode. So your postcode's kind of like a little team within an estate, right? Yeah. So, it's, so that, but, well, how are you winning? What's the aim? What's the it, goal? With planet maybe, side, maybe they do have there guns. Is, maybe they do. Expand maybe they, your postcode. You shoot bricks, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then like a, the conserv. If you have a conservatory module, you're a healer. Or you know you could have a you know skip. <laughs> I don't know, like garage extension. Sure. You've got big like, wheels or something. You can, you can fire cars. Around. You've yeah, got yeah, a like, Why do you have all these have wheels? You could have, uh, like, you, you could be a tank, not a literal tank. I mean, like, as a unit. Yeah. Uh, or maybe, uh, maybe like the rich estate, there's, uh, they're bigger houses, but there's way less of them because they need all the space. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, Bungalow, so bungalow's the stealth unit, so they yeah, can yeah. Like, <laughs> sneak about. <laughs> or like can you imagine if yes. it was like a battle royale? The bungalows the fucking are the seeing stealth. hundred houses. It's a battle royale plane. with those houses, yeah. Oh, yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's, Planet Side 2 isn't a battle royale, is it? It's just no, it's, a it's, it's constant like a, uh, online yeah. thing. I think that would actually work <clears> better because of like the estates system, yeah, uh, which is very well fleshed out. Um, you know... <laughs> So and it's, you it's could have literal shops with houses. You have literal shops, okay. right? Oh, and they're you people just... that go around like the battlefield selling stuff Corner to people. Shops. You play Maybe as a you shop. Could have, you could be a, be a merchant. <laughs> yeah. Or, or they could yeah. just be NPCs. Like you could have, a, you know, 
instead of like a blacksmith, it's just a B and Q. Like you've got yeah. <laughs> or or a yes. Lowe's. Is it Lowe's in America? I don't know. For, one a, of them. for yeah, one of them. Like Walmart, a, you know, a probably. Hardware store, it does everything. A hardware store. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, and you can. That's how you. Hit, maybe that's 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 a healer, right? So you go there and you just flick a couple of two oh, floors on your right. Back. So the right? fact you have to practice heal yourself up. houses. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, um, like skyscrapers, like the tanks or something, or you know, the. the... I feel like we. I don't know if we go for skyscrapers, James. Maybe no, skyscrapers can't be sent. That's too much. They're just okay, block, block of James, flats. Come on, maybe it, we'll keep think, it in this country. Maybe I block think in of this flats. universe, a skyscraper <laughs> is like a if you merge multiple people together and they're all screaming, "Kill me." <laughs> right i see yeah of course yeah so no yeah. no flats oh, it's all <clears throat> just single single houses detached yeah. houses. houses yeah um, and well, that's, okay. that's what it is right so you earn money by killing but every month you lose money because you have to pay your mortgage and different regions have different council taxes yeah. so yeah, 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 you yeah. don't you, you've got to hold cm2 wow that's expensive there <laughs> exactly <laughs> i love the idea of I every feel... dawn people waking up in their houses and like fuck I, i'm trying to get letters addressed to me but they're just not arriving anymore. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> every day they have to change their addresses on like amazon and stuff because <laughs> it keeps changing was my furniture upside down before i feel like <laughs> we should contact this. pixar and this is this is set in the cars 2 similar like universe you know the uh, yeah. cars universe the cars 2 like cinematic that. universe instead of windscreens eyes they just have like you know Houses, two bay windows yeah. window eyes well, they have four eyes no Alex. The front. <laughs> no. ridiculous Stupid. But the top the one is just like windows. <laughs> it's what like a child who draws a bomb is a mouth. You know, you've got the two top windows yeah, and then and just the door, a mouth door. It's like a little O mouth. A mouth door, I guess. So. Unless you've got what a about double the other door. Window? What about the bottom windows? Bottom windows. And then two mouths? They're like blushing cheeks. Yeah. Yeah, they're f- nice. they're they're, com- okay. they're, right. they're facade. Yeah. They're There's a lot of cosmetics. They're like they're like game. they're like human nipples on they're just nipples on men. They're just points. They're just there for fun. So they're little round mouths. <laughs> the little round. I feel like I feel like this idea has already run out of steam. <laughs> no? no. Okay, fine. All right. Well, I guess. All right. I guess that one's done. That was a real hit. Well, but... okay. Oh, what okay, I'm saying is, okay. wouldn't wouldn't oh, no, play. Okay. I was going to try and come up with a name. It's called it, but... House Flipper. Mine was really cool. Because <laughs> <laughs> you have to like sack other houses. It was just be called Cul de Sac, but maybe yes. Not. Oh, <laughs> Cul de Sac. I like that. Um, okay. I'm okay. In. Well, I guess I'm moving on. All right. Um, <laughs> Next one. Now, I can't remember why I wrote this one, but this just says black and gold dress, colorblind game. It was of its time when I wrote this one. Right. Um, yeah. I think it was like the anniversary of the black and gold dress image that was obviously circling, circulating okay. the, uh, the internet of like, is it black, is it gold, or is it blue and red, or whatever the fuck it was. Um, it's like a mobile game? And for some reason, I thought, could we do a puzzle game that's just based entirely for colorblind people? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Like, I'll cross that one off now. How does that... <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll move on. I'll move okay. on. Okay. Uh, okay. Not everyone's a is... hit. <laughs> no. Maybe someone. Maybe if you hear that idea and you think, "Oh, okay, yeah, I can see the ho- the, the hotness there," uh, maybe send it send it our Please. way. Uh, this hotness. one is um, solve crime through Google Street View. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. <laughs> That's that's fantastic. I like yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so quite, so you could, but I mean, that could be like an AR game, right? Like uh, or whatever they would be called now. Alex, you, Alex, like we want to. people to play it. Mm-hmm. Don't make yeah, an AR game. Okay. What well, Pokemon so, Go? So you, <laughs> yeah. Who, do you do you have the camera on? No. I still no. have a friend who plays Pokemon Go. <laughs> Thank you. He's still raised. No, I'm not talking about Pokemon Go. I'm saying, do you have the camera on in Pokemon? Oh, I guess the AR utilize of, the AR yeah, aspect of Pokemon Go. Yeah, that's true. Once. Okay. Yeah, so, the gimmick. You do it for ha- the gimmick. Yeah. How, how did you imagine this working, Tom? Or had you not thought of it any further? No, I'm going <laughs> to I'm gonna be honest. Uh, I wrote Solve Crime through Google Street View. And I think, I, I think what I imagined to begin with was that it wasn't necessarily a game that was played on Google Street View. Like, you can literally load up your street and Such I don't know, see someone running down the road with a TV or something. Like, <laughs> yeah. you literally just... It, it's almost like pre-created... Uh, for the game itself, streets and roads and things. And the game is interacted. Uh, the way you navigate the game is through Google Street View controls, right? You see an arrow, you click forward and you go down the road further. Maybe you see a house and it's got that little uh, icon onto it and you're like, oh shit, someone's been in there with a 3D camera. Awesome, I can go into the house and look around. 
like they do in shops and stuff or yeah yeah in certain right, locations yeah, yeah. Surely the beauty of it would be doing it in in Google Street View, and because they, you know, they did the whole they did Pac Man at one point, didn't they? Oh yeah, in, yeah. in Street in, in well the top. I mean, I'm just and, wary um, of limitations when it comes to developing yeah. a game, an entire game in well, yeah, Street it, View. It wouldn't exactly match the environment, would it? It would be just like a stuck on JPEG yeah. of something, just like oh, there's yeah. a clue. And it's like now that'd be shit. Yeah. So. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I think I think basically just recreating Google Street View <coughs> for the context of the game uh, mm. and and building something in that style. So I think you don't even necessarily need a huge place, right? Maybe it's like a very closed off town or there's an ex- one exit road that you can't go down because oh, Google Street View hasn't been there. Um, <laughs> yeah. And, but like there's certain locations, certain very, very small locations that you can jump into and all you have is that one point of camera maybe you look down and you see the guy holding the stick up and he's like giving you a thumbs up um <laughs> so is this a bit like um so, sorry in i have to clarify the guy there's a guy holding yeah. a stick right yeah <laughs> who's clearly watching a murder no no i think i think i think it's done With a way up, where like, hey, 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 go on, my son well, Get, ask the man who did it maybe, oh, it was him <laughs> maybe you know like it's going to be kind of complicated because Street View is updated every like four years, right? So I guess maybe you could do it in a way where it's updated every three months. Well, or it something. Could, yeah, could it be set in the like in the future where we have more of like I don't know Google Google owns the world or whatever company they use they use drones Google. To... Whatever we would call Google that isn't actually Google. Yeah, they use so things are actually updated Google. on a daily basis or yeah, something. So and this, you play this... a. Google, a, a private... they, they update it. Yeah. For the context of the game, they update it every three months. So maybe you can look okay. at a place and you know, I don't know, maybe you investigate this thing or maybe you see this thing and you're you're just like, there's something in that something going on in that window over there. So then yeah. you go back three months ago to see, like, is the yeah. place any different? Or maybe you go through different time sort of yeah, in, like in the, in the same location. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, you I, can do that on yeah, Street View anyway, right? You can, you can, yeah, you can flick back through certain satellite images and go. Yeah, but it's years. But so I mean, that's what yeah. I mean. In Obviously, the context yeah, of the game, be... it's it's much tighter. But it, it's the struggle would be how to create a story that you can only navigate a criminal story that you can only navigate through three months periods that's locked to a Street View thing, right? Like, mm. I guess that if sounds you like go a you into problem. it sounds like, like a I me like... problem, but. <laughs> I, I think like it'd be cool you could have like a subplot where maybe someone's hacked it <clears throat> and they've gone in and tried to blur themselves out or something. Because yeah. like Area 51, they well, Area 51, they did that, didn't they? There was like whole areas in America <laughs> where it's hat. all like, yeah, it's all blurred out and people are like, oh, that wasn't like that before. So yeah. maybe you could look for the artifacts where the, because Street View is pretty yeah. janky sometimes. So you could look for like the, the joins and go, oh, what's, maybe there was something happening in this blind spot. And then you could try and find a different angle. On, on the street view that would be cool so what if you were to play a like a private investigator or something like uh so, so for whatever reason you are bed you are bed bound bedridden and um the only way you need to find out uh it, you need to find out whoever this murderer is i don't know but basically the only the only tools that you have you, you're in this you're in this future society where google is oh sorry google google uh is Poodle. updated I think it should be even more frequent. I think it should be daily. I think they should be doing it daily. Sure, so I mean, yeah, that, that would make it easier. Um, okay, and, and, and what, it's also yeah, so not unbelievable, right? Like, it, <laughs> I mean, all, if it's a small enough yeah. town, they just fly by every day and just update. They have it. drones. They have fucking drones. Yeah, so like they integrate with Amazon. Amazon delivery drones. They integrate that Google's oh, technology to just constantly update. Nile, 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 yeah, yeah, Nile so, and Google. <laughs> Nile. Okay. Um, yeah, to to update the uh, the. The, the images and you can so may, what if maybe google uh google street view isn't the only tool that you have you could G- be google road like, nile nile prime and you can get <laughs> things delivered you can have nile yeah you can deliver things to your door you can uh you can maybe contact other people through e- through email i don't know like basically G- i'm thinking google like Mail. it's 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 an investigation it's find out who the murderer is with all the tools at your disposal but you can't get out of bed because you're yeah. injured or something. And so the sure. main tool is Google Street View. But I think you're also emailing people, checking the web. I feel like actually in you mentioning that, I somehow I've actually mm. remembered the origin of when I wrote this one. And I think it was when I was watching Don't Fuck With Cats, that Netflix documentary, right? Right, um, yeah. Which uh. if you can bear it, then do watch it. It's very, very good. If you 
uh, immediately like, I don't want to watch this, then fine, whatever. It's a really cool story, but there's a, there's a lot of like armchair detectives who are, they, they see a picture of this guy, they've got no idea where he is, and somehow through just this combined effort, they find exactly where he is on Google Street View. And I think it was that sort of thing where oh, I was shit. sort of imagining yeah. the origin of it, where maybe you do have extra tools on your computer beyond street view right maybe you yeah you know you see a picture of this guy or maybe this obscured you know silhouette of a guy and you're like maybe if i can spot exactly where that is then i can find yeah. the exact location so maybe that's where you then start trawling the roads of this small town or whatever um to find these things so i feel like that could be a thing just just trying to pinpoint pin point exact locations of these things um using street view yeah yeah, that could be yeah. So, for example, say if you like to be able to bring the, the different uh, the different like mechanics together. Say if you were looking through, if you were using Google Street View and you see, uh, I don't know, that, like you, you can get the image of where the where this crime was committed or whatever, mm. and you see that there's a certain item on the left in the crime scene that is very unique. I don't know something that most people wouldn't have, like I don't know a fucking bowling ball. Uh, with a with a weird logo on it, and yeah. so you use you use uh, you use Nile Prime to to purchase or to or to search for that specific bowling ball. Yeah, and then you can figure out you can figure out like the I don't know if somehow you're you're able to find like the um, I don't know like uh, other people who have left reviews, and then you can look into that and see uh, like uh, you know you know what I mean. That you can like, keep digging deeper to find yeah. who might own that. And yeah. then you can maybe there's an item that says like, oh, this is sold by Rod's bowling pins, and you're like, where's Rod's bowling pins? Oh, they have yeah, updated exactly. their you directory; the... they're not yeah, on yeah. there. So you have to go through the roads, and then you see it, and you're like, fuck, that's Rod's, that's Rod's bowling yeah, pins. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I, I love it. that. Like getting and then the you triangulate and... on the on I the global map. I feel like map. it would be great. You'd just going to be dropping pins everywhere with little and like writing little notes to yourself, like, oh, I think I saw something here, and at the end you'll have yeah. this like path through through the yeah. map. Which yeah, yeah, yeah. And maybe you could have like uh, an assistant, kind of, or like a friend who, Siri. who also Clicky. works with you. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> <Someone> who... <laughs> Google assistant. Google, okay, sorry. So like, who it looks like you're will... trying to solve a murder. <laughs> well, but like, yeah, but like, maybe if you <laughs> if you get if you get stuck at any point, or if you need help, or for maybe like big breakthrough moments, they can call you up and be like, "Fuck, I found I found Jimmy's Jimmy's balls." It's in it's in the small town. It's found this. It's in this small town outside of Bristol. It's this address. Uh, 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 like uh, I'm thinking of now. Okay, what I'm thinking of now is: um, Have you ever listened to these? There, it's an incredible genre of podcasts that are so addictive and so like pulpy and stupid. Um, there's one called Tannis, and yes. basically yes. they they are they're like they're meant to be like it's like making a murderer or serial style podcasts. But they're about uh, completely fictional sci-fi weird things that are happening, and right, like, Tannis okay. in particular, Tannis is told from the perspective of um, one of the producers of the show, and he's saying like, "My name is Jeremy or whatever." Like, I f I suddenly got interested in Tannis where I, when I found like I I heard the word like popping up in all these forums and whatever, and then I look and people were trying to figure out what does it mean, what what is Tannis, and then. Turns out that like it's been used for thousands of years. It could mean a location. It could mean a place or a state or whatever. And he slowly starts digging into what it is. And as soon as he fi he finds like one use of the word on an old forum somewhere, and then a guy contacts him and is like, "Leave it alone. Holy Forget shit, about it." Really and, cool. and, and, then, and then he it's really fuck. It's really like it's it's corny, but it's but it's so addictive. And then he has like this other person he's working with, and all of it is told through like phone calls and stuff, basically. Mm. Um, Chris, so you want to say something? The reason I was silent throughout most of that is because I was trying to think of a good title. Uh, right, okay, yeah. Which is what I do now. Point. <clears throat> Are you ready for this? So you're right. you're solving murders okay. on a computer, okay. right? Y yeah, an armchair detective. Yeah. Dot exe hyphen cution. Because it's execution. Oh. <laughs> okay, yeah. Dot execution. <laughs> But it's spelt dot e x e. No, no, it's it's lowercase dot. It, it lowercase the word. Oh dot. right, dot in the brackets. Dot yeah. execution. Yeah. 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 Um, okay. I feel and like the lady that died that was dot. <laughs> yeah. Um, Dorothy. Yeah, in, in terms yeah. of Dorothy. having like, <laughs> in terms of having friends that sort of point at other things, I feel like 
at natural mm. chapters, natural progressions of the game, maybe like day two, day three, day four, maybe you get like an email from uh, fuckboy69 uh, who <laughs> says, oh, I just found this thing. And that kind of kickstarts the operation and the investigation that you do for that day. Uh, maybe yeah. you can progress further than the game sort of hints towards by just going to the right places at the right times. You know, maybe this case is solvable from the very beginning, but every day someone else emails you and says like, oh, I just spotted this thing or I just found a location of this thing. Yeah, it's kind of, I like that. Kind of boosts yeah. you a little bit further and further each time. Oh, I love that. Chris. Um, Chris. In my search for looking for a perfect name for this, I did use a thesaurus to, for the words murder. And I have two two right. things I want to say. One, I found a better okay. name for the postcode wars thing. It's called homicide. Um, and <laughs> for fuck's sake! Okay. And I also found it weird Fine. that the word manslaughter is just the word mans and laughter. That was a basic. That was it. That was. I just found that. All right, odd. thanks, Chris, for that That's contribution. Right. <laughs> Cheers. That's all right, Alex. Back, back um, to you in the studio. Um, okay, um, what, oh I, I wanted to say like this. This is starting to feel a bit like. So I've not played this game, right? But have you ever heard of something called Welcome to the Game Two? Uh, I mean, I haven't Google heard of Google. Welcome to the Game One. Yeah, is it the so yeah, <laughs> I, I hadn't heard of too? either of these. Ravs, <laughs> maybe it does. I don't know. Uh, Ravs was was telling me about this the other day, and he he was saying in the context of okay, I don't give a shit about scary games usually. I have no problem with them. This one, I w- creeped me the fuck out. Oh, and basically the, the the way it works is I I might be getting this wrong, so please correct me. Uh, like if if, if so, but. From my understanding, that the game takes place in you're a private investigator, and uh, the whole or the majority of the game takes place in your apartment, in your apartment complex, in front of your computer mostly. And you have to, I think, like a woman has gone missing, and she has some kind of there's some kind of um, connection with the dark web, and a bunch of like basically you spend a lot of time looking through really fucking weird, fucked up websites on the dark web trying to find and there's like a, there's like a kill there's like a website where basically people vote it's like twitch but people have but they they kidnap people and the viewers have to vote whether or not they get executed or something oh it's, like, it's really fucking dark but and you, and you have to there's a timer on you trying to find this person who's been kidnapped but because you're accessing the dark web um, you, so you're contacting lots of other people as well and talking to them, trying to get help from other people. You you can order things from online and get packages to your door, I think. But also because you've, you're you're in the dark web, you're drawing the attention of other nefarious, weird people who are in the dark web. There's a guy called the Doll Maker who I think kidnaps people and uses their skin to make dolls. So there's something fucking weird, just weird shit like that. Um, but but the idea of a game where basically you're a private investigator and you are trying to uncover some kind of like some kind of murder or dark secret or whatever while using tools available on the you know on this fake internet that we've created yeah yeah um sounds fucking cool yeah i mean i feel like there's there's games that have uh done this before right like this yeah was it called welcome to the game two was it welcome to the game two Right. I assume it's the sequel. And there's also Hypnospace Outlaw, which is part of the Tiny Teams collection. Um, yeah, oh, yeah, it is. And that's that's it's done good. in this uh, weird, weird universe, but it's 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 all navigated through like this MS DOS style uh, UI. Yeah. <clears throat> um, and and I think I think there could be something good there. Um, I, I I don't want I almost don't want too many tools. Like I want this computer to be to have Google. Uh, road search to be installed, um, Nile okay. Nile Prime, and yes. I don't know email, and then that's basically. I mean, maybe a couple more, but that's basically it. Calculator. Paint, well. So, so paint, the, the, fo- the main focus of your Pumped. investigation is through uh, is through Google Roadmaps, right? Google, Google Road View, Street yeah, View. and uh, also you have okay. Winamp installed, obviously, because you need to listen to music. Um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But that's basically it. Like, you are not a professional detective, right? Maybe this is a case that's okay. closed, or maybe they've just abandoned the case because they were like, ah, we couldn't find the guy. Oh, well. And you're just... Oh, but you have a connection to the Yeah, and, and you're just this user on a forum of of like-minded uh, detectives, armchair detectives, who all are just trying to work together to find this thing. And it's happened. It's happened. Like, it's it's not like Reddit where they, you know, point at some guy and say he's definitely the bomber, which happened at one point and then the guy ended up killing himself. <laughs> it's not like that. <laughs> and you say it like that. And you have a go at me for going on tangents. 
<laughs> Fine. Okay. Anyway. Anyway, I think that's a cool game. I think there's there's something there. I think there's something there. I kind of wish. I, I don't think this should have been on your shit list, Tom. I think I don't think this should have been in your shit hole. I think I think that's a fantastic game. I think we could have dedicated a whole episode to that. Oh. Um, oh, damn it. Well, but, we but anyway, it's done and gone. It. Okay. We, we. I think we have time maybe for one very small. Very small idea. one. I mean, I can give you an extremely yeah. small one if you want. And this Go is one that yeah. literally just... Said, I, so I wrote this down because I was hoping to embellish on it. Uh, because I was thinking, what genre have we not touched in Pitch, Please? Like, what have we not approached? And a point-and-click adventure okay. we haven't done yet. Uh, like, I'm talking yeah. like Broken yeah. Sword. Like, you know, uh, oh, a, a Monkey Island, yeah. that sort of thing. Close to my heart. So I thought, how do we, how do we Pitch, Please it? So I just wrote, fuck up a point-and-click. All right, go. <laughs> All right. Um, you can't click. Not, click. You can't use the mouse. <laughs> no yeah, clicks. Yeah. No clicks. <laughs> you can point and just hope. Yeah. Just the, you have to headbutt the keyboard. Yeah, maybe it's yeah. like maybe it's like Sims, and you're just watching the character, and you just hope he's following the mystery or the story, but sometimes he doesn't. Actually, do you, you know own. what? I think someone has already done this, like, what? or is really? already attempting something like this. There is a game. Uh, who who w- I had spoken to them. I was speaking to them the other week about submission to, the, to tiny teams, but they, they their game wasn't like in a state where they wanted to submit it. Basically, I fucking can't remember what it was called. But basically, the idea was a point and click where you you throw words at people, and I can't I can't oh. remember. It was it, it looked like it was it was one of those games where I saw the I saw the gif on Twitter and I was like, oh, fuck, that's a great idea. But I can't remember anything else about it now. <laughs> I wish. So I- is it is it that you type the words? And they... no, I think it's I think it's like you 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 drag and throw them, or maybe you have them like I don't know. I don't a know. Physics based text adventure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I think they were like physics based words. You just fucking throw them out at people. So if you say if you say if if you throw the word use at a door, it will use the door. Oh, so it's right. like um, right. or if you throw boards, inspect at the door, you throw words at things. Maybe. So it's yeah. Maybe. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay. <laughs> now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What if it was a a, a point and click adventure? A point and click in the same yeah. capacity as as Monkey Island, as um, Night of the was it Night of the Living Tentacle? Is that what it was called? Uh, Day of the Tentacle. Day of the, Day of the Tentacle. Tentacle. Yeah. I, <laughs> Day of the Tentacle. Yeah. Right. So you've got right. You're right, at the bottom right of the animal. Wrong time of day. Yeah. Um, <laughs> You've got so you've got that UI at the bottom where it has look, talk, use, push, pull, pick mm. up. Yeah. Okay. Now, what if we compress cards. that down to cards? <laughs> to cards. Oh, out. you were fucking actually going to say it. <laughs> a deck building <laughs> adventure game. Think about so it. So the deck is dialogue. Think about it. No, not no. The deck's not dialogue. The deck is you. Ha- you draw five cards. Oh, One actions. is use, talk, pull, push, and in each scenario, you can play the cards. But maybe you're like, fuck, there's a door I really want to open there, but I don't have open oh, in my hand. Oh, you have so many. Yeah. Okay, uh, I'm in. I, 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 I made you, fun of you, it, but you, I'm immediately reversing that. If you don't open that, that door, do you not progress? <laughs> no, I think there's multiple paths. There's, there's okay, tons and tons of different paths. Say, it has to be. If you have Sorry. a game that means you can't play it because of RNG, that's kind of like... Well, no, unless yeah. it's, a, it's a puzzle. It's like a puzzle thing, right? You have to use them in the right order. So each, each room or each scene oh, scenario yeah. is a puzzle. And yeah. you can only do it one in one certain way, but it takes so take you multiple attempts. And the puzzle puzzle is, it's almost like um, a figure out the like order super hard kind of, yeah. Yeah, 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 you, you have to use to. you have to use the hammer on the door before you can pick up the nail. Uh, otherwise, the nail won't door. You talk to the <laughs> the nail won't door. The nail won't door. Woman, and she's and then. Mi- Are you okay? No. <laughs> <laughs> he's run out. Of, he's run out of cards. He's using cards to. to yeah, use, like, that's how I live my I, life. I am. I am a deck building person, and I just <laughs> ran out of cards. My I almost thought like we stumbled on a great idea that we that we probably should save perhaps until a later time, I mean, uh, because we don't have enough time to to continue talking about it. Based on how angry Chris looks and how distraught James looks, <laughs> no, I think I was, we got as much distance I as we can. I wasn't angry. It's from... that my head... Because, again, <laughs> as you said, we have webcams, and this is a very bad thing for podcast listeners, yeah. is that my, my head looks like it's photoshopped on. Right. And it was confusing. Chris, Chris fucking checked out of this podcast like half an hour. No, I didn't. He's I didn't. I, I, I was talking about the deck builder because I, I came up. I, I sent Tom a deck building idea the other day, which was just Islanders, but with theme parks. 
because I really like oh, the yeah. idea of That's placing great. like that. Yeah. But you, you're the the thing is like you have to have enough food and stuff for people, and also excitement and thrill and shit like that. And that's your metric. For okay. Passing. Okay. Look, like we, it, because because of today's episode being kind of weird, like little one shot things, we're not going to do a would make my would play. But I think maybe instead we just say pick a favorite, the favorite game. Yeah. yeah pick a favorite, uh, Chris. Uh, so to recap, we've I, got I, I mean, I'm homicide. A huge fan oh yeah, of yeah, homicide. Yeah. Yeah, Homicide. Okay, yeah. Uh, what was okay. after Homicide? Uh, uh, there was a very short one. Um, a very short one, Black and Gold God, Dress. That's scrap that one. Black and Gold Dress. That's yeah. not. Uh, that's Solving not, Crime. Yeah, that that was, like, could it be James's? Maybe. That's uh, uh, so execution. Dot, dot, ex, dot, dot execution. Dot execution. <laughs> that's my favorite um, by far. And then, and then that Point last and click one. Deck the, builder. Yeah. Okay. I'm a huge, I'm a huge Homicide fan. Uh, <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> His idea, his own man's idea. Well, 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 no, not just because it's my idea. I just think, you know, like the houses, it's got legs and, you okay. know, it can work. Um, that's James, what we say about houses. I, I, I love dot execution. I think I think the idea that you could, it's, it's a bit like that um, time, what, what are those games called? The, uh, is it like timeline or something where you, we talked about it a long time oh, ago. Oh, lifeline. Lifeline. Where I could imagine oh, having for that part of it. Hashtag bless. We um, talked about right, that in the you, first episode. Yeah, right. That's a cool quite a long time ago then, yeah. I think. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I love that game. I, I want to play that game. Yeah. Okay. And Tom, which which is your favourite of your shit list? I mean, I love I love some I love some deck building games. I think if it's done in a certain style, right, or if it is done in that room by room basis and you're slowly following a story, then I think the puzzle of a deck building adventure game could be cool. It could be something yeah. really well done. However, dot execution um has a has a kick-ass name and i think that alone <laughs> is well, a great that, name. that alone well, yeah, yeah. carries yeah. it i don't I, think. I don't check out of the podcast alex i listen i absorb <laughs> and i i i create these these names yeah. uh you do Chris yeah well, like, i have to be good for something anything. he's like a fencer, he only came he up with the titles and he waits for the perfect time to really stab us in the side with a really cool name <laughs> yeah. just blindside you with yeah, if- magic if all you said in the whole podcast were the titles, it would still be worth you being here. So, <laughs> um, it's quality, said, not quantity. Uh, if you said just <laughs> dot execution. Welcome. Uh, and homicide for me. Oh, yeah, good point. It, it has to be. It has to be dot execution. Like the, I, I want a game where I feel like the, the uh, where I feel like serial <laughs> the serial podcast. Yeah. I want to be the serial podcast. Um, thanks for everyone uh, for listening to us uh, ramble about tiny teams and all the a games we're putting out. Yeah, but I quite enjoyed that. I, I like quick firing those games and yeah. talking about other games that we've played as well because we don't really do that very often. Um, so yeah, thanks very much for listening. Um, also, I thank you for people who like new people who have started listening to us. I guess because Hi. we had uh, some of the Triforce guys on. Big shout out on Triforce. You, Big double shout out on Triforce. So I guess we should return the favor. Not that it will mean much, but check out Triforce. Yeah. Please, everyone who is currently listening to us as a result of Triforce. Please continue Carry listening. Carry on to listening that. to Triforce. <laughs> Great. Right. Um, and uh, we'll get yeah, Lewis we'll on eventually. You... Don't worry. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Eventually, we'll we'll see. Yeah. For, well, when, when we're back in the office, I think it would be nice to have him on. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. You'll have a great I, idea. I, I'm sure. I have no idea what like just like William Pugh. I have no idea what his idea could be. It could be fucking anything. Um, yeah, it's so terrifying. We'll, we'll look forward to that. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. Until until next week. Thanks very much for listening. Uh, we'll see you later. Goodbye. 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 See you. Bye. 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 Bye.